My name is Giorgio Locatelli. I'm a cook, and uh, I cook in this restaurant called Locanda Locatelli in London. Then I'm with my wife, and that's it, really. The most amazing one was the last World Cup that we won, which I was in Sicily. I was in, I was near Palermo, and so we decided to go into Palermo to watch it. And I'll tell you, that was whoa! The Italian camp party for real, and they? they were just jumping out the window, and there was people on top of the house just shooting with a shoot gun, like boom, boom, like that, till three, four o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. I mean, the whole place went nuts. Suddenly, you know, the people sort of drive all their cars to where the center of the city. The center got stuck, so what the people do, they just got off the car and leave the car there. So you come, you know, it was about three or four o'clock we went, and there was people there sitting in the car asleep because they couldn't move, you know, one inch up or back. They mad, they completely mad. Italian have a penchant for gladiators, don't they, from the Roman times. And, and, and then, you know, football is like that. You just whistle, you don't know what's going to happen. His life is there, it's in the front of you, it's diff difficult to trick it, it's there. So they love that, I think. The people who goes out to eat when the matches are on, especially when the English matches are on, is because there's people that don't want to know about it, they just don't care about it. So what's happening is that there is like this hair of great excitement from the door of the kitchen onwards <laughs> and you know and then if somebody asks for the result then we'll tell them the result we try to keep it very civilized up in the front but you can see some big smile or some big <laughs> not smile in the waiter then you know what the result is going to be we try to keep them a bit quiet <laughs> definitely not give them any beer before <laughs> before, <laughs> before service that's for sure more and more, the, 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 the diet of, of sportsmen is, is very complex. And, you know, I, I studied in a way that, you know, it's, it's just take them to a peak, especially when it comes to a tournament like that. You can actually work for a diet to take that body to a really peak. It is quite complicated, but obviously, you know, carbohydrates are very important. And I think what Mancini was talking about was not really, in, in that point, when he said the pizza and the red wine, he was talking about the sense of conviviality. Because that's what happened a lot with sportsmen. Then they, they're going to end up seeing the food as a fuel. Then, and so a pizza and a bottle of beer, a bottle of Peroni or, or a glass of wine, anything, you know, then will make that sense of conviviality. I think Mancini was talking about this, was talking about the creating a team around the table, and that's quite important. I think that... Uh, it is important for the Italian to win against the French, especially for the northern Italian. They feel like you know, to beat the French is the most important thing. So if the French are out of the way, then we're happy even to come second, I'm sure. <laughs>